everyone. Thanks for tuning in last week to our first episode of Press On. So much has changed in the last seven days, and I know many of you are facing shelter in place orders like we are in California. We wanted to continue the conversation from last week and talk to shops about how they are coping with the hardships brought on by these new restrictions. We'll also talk about the government stimulus, SBA relief, as well as some encouragement to get you through until the next time we see you. We went from 19 employees to four employees remaining in the shop, um, not so much because of a shelter in place. In Rhode Island, print shops are considered to be an essential business at this time, um, but more so because of the dramatic drop in orders um, and cancellations and the likelihood that cancellations would continue due to events being canceled. And also to maintain the safety of our four remaining employees, they can work in the shop while maintaining suitable distance to keep them safe. Code Sportsway hasn't had to shut down its operations uh, completely, but we certainly have for the most part. We're running with a skeleton and crew, having had to furlough 80% of our uh, employees, which is obviously a difficult decision. We found out that we had to close our shop. Um, in the state of Ohio, where we're based out of, um, we are considered a non-essential business. This is the first time I've ever had to deal with anything like this. This is the first time I ever saw <clears throat> work essentially just shut off. Um, so we're kind of all figuring this out a day at a time to see what the next step is and what things are going to look like after all this. So far, we haven't been completely shut down here yet. Um, we have had to change how we do things, um, not only to uh, fit what our state has mandated, but also just for the safety of ourselves and our workers. So currently, um, which is very odd, we're only working one person actually physically at the shop here at a time. And um, that's been odd because I've come here every day for years now. Um, but it at least keeps the employees coming in and, and gives them, we're rotating one person at a time. And it at least gives each of them some hours at least while we still have orders. And so after watching the virus progress, we took the initiative to close our offices and work from home. The following day, we had to lay off our entire production staff. Over the weekend, we had, you know, a few days to digest the information and try to come up with a game plan, we uh, we figured it would be safe to bring a couple people back and try to get the jobs uh, off the floor that we had out there. Um, but as of right now, we're completely shut down. My somebody who hasn't had to do it yet, but will be facing that soon. It's just gonna remind yourself that you're doing it for their long-term job security. If they're spending all your cash and not receiving orders to um, justify the payroll, then um, you're not going to be able to weather the storm. It, it was hard, but uh, important. So I would say, you know, just try to cut, you know, cut spending where it makes sense, you know, try to try to stretch your dollars and, and you know, but do it without dropping off the map if you can, because, you know, there's a lot of people taking in content right now. So if you do have money, I think invest it in marketing if you can. For all, I'd say the experience has been horrible. Um, it, it's tough, man. I've been doing this since, you know, since I was a kid, really. Uh, I became involved with this business right out of high school. We have... Uh, you know, have around 20 to 25 employees and, and a lot of them have been with us for a long time. So it's, a, you know, we're family. And so um, having to make the decision to do this, I mean, it, it's really just forced on us. It's, it's you know, for their safety, for my family's safety, and, and uh, it is what it is. So we'll, you know, just push through and try to figure stuff out. The one that interests me the most is the payroll protection plan. That plan allows us to bring back essentially all of our employees, uh, pay for those employees for two months uh, via a loan, uh, and also pay for some additional things such as mortgage or rent or utilities. 
and that's a completely forgivable loan if you meet certain criteria. So I think that's the most interesting thing because it brings everybody back to work. It takes people off unemployment. Uh, and even if you don't have the work at the time, we can keep them busy doing some other things like uh, cleaning the place and reorganizing the building and, and doing some things that are helpful uh, around uh, the community as well. I think that any stimulus and SBA relief um, that's out there that can help people, I think it's great. I think that um, everyone should take advantage of it. I've spoken to many people and read many articles by people much smarter than me who think they will Protection Relief is a wonderful program for small businesses. Um, being able to call back our employees, um, basically financed um, while we're not really receiving orders is great for the employee where they can um, not have to worry about where their next paycheck is coming from. And it's great for us. We can catch up on the projects that we haven't had a chance to. We're definitely going to take advantage of it if we can. Um, you know, we all rely on our paychecks to survive and our team, you know, their family, and so um, we're going to do whatever we can to, to get that money. And I think everyone else in our situation should do the same thing. That's what it's there for. Well, we've, we've spent a lot of time cleaning and uh, uh, reorganizing the building in a manner that uh, once we do have people back to work, uh, the flow will be better and we should be able to run more efficiently. So these are some of the things that we've talked about doing for a long time but haven't been able to do it because of just the uh, busyness of, of work, which is a good problem, but uh, sometimes it's nice to get some of these other things done as well. Definitely uh, going to focus on marketing, uh, putting together some collateral you know, samples and, and and things like that that we just could never find the time to do. We're, we're uh, next week plan on uh, focusing on our website. We started one, a, a new one about a year ago and just could never find the time to wrap it up. And so we, we plan on diving into that. Um, I wanna focus on training programs uh, for for every you know department that we have and really get that dialed in so it makes it more seamless bringing in new employees. Um, I want to uh, wrap up our safety program. So, you know, there's a lot of things that um, that we need to do and, and we're not, sh we're not, we may have shut down production, but there's a lot of work to be done and, and we're gonna do it. positives that I find from this situation is that people are connecting on a level that you don't typically connect, whether it be vendors or customers or coworkers or employees or management. Um, you're reaching to, out to each other on a personal level because we're all experiencing this crisis together. So everyone's been super awesome with helping out. I've had a lot of people reach out to me offering uh, to take some of the work that we might be scrambling to figure out what to do with now. Um, so that's been really amazing. I've had other friends that are in the industry that are looking to branch out now and they need a website um, or they want to uh, start creating more social media content. So I've had a bunch of conversations like that of people just looking for guidance and help and advice. So that's been really awesome. The thing that I've enjoyed most is just being home with my family, you know, spending time with the kids and, you know, we all have our uh, her schedule is set in place and so, you know, my wife and I juggle them and we're, you know, doing the homeschool thing and, and you know, that's been good. And then I think the other thing that, that I've realized throughout all of this is to um, not, not forget about those personal relationships and those one-on-ones and now that we don't have that, um, I think I'm seeing more than ever the value of it and just how much being able to talk to someone face-to-face -face and shake their hand or give them a hug or um, you know, just look them eye to eye, how, how much value there is in that and having those actual uh, human connections. And so we'll continue for a while with our social distancing and to continue to not do those things because certainly um, that's what's best right now. But, but I think it was a good reminder to not forget that those, those little things and that personal contact is, it means something and it's very valuable. We hope these testimonies bring you some relief in knowing that you are not alone. Let us know what questions you have for us and we'll try to cover some of those in the next video. Remember, we're in this together. See you next time.